This began with the Mueller investigation. They started harassing Trump by targeting his lawyer, Michael Cohen, up in New York. And the leftists running the Southern District of New York, which is the U.S. Attorney's Office in New York, they forced Cohen to admit to a campaign finance violation related to these payments to Stormy Daniels. I noted at the time, and many noted at the time, this, this isn't a campaign finance violation. It's absurd. So the thinking of Bragg is that, oh, well, you know, first of all, the records were disguised, the business records were disguised, so that's potentially a crime, and it's even a worse crime, a felony, if they were disguised related to a campaign finance violation. What that violation is, it's not clear. A federal violation, a state violation, who knows? Now, if you're having trouble following it, it's because it's all a hoax. It's all bunk. They're making it up as they go along. This case has been before the district attorney's office, prior to that, the federal government, since 2018. And they decide, five years later, practically speaking, that there's a crime? Who are they kidding? I'm just tired of folks running away from the corruption targeting Trump because they don't like Trump. Don't be naive that some key Republicans are more than happy to see this abuse continue. And we understand why Democrats don't care. So this is, on top of every other abuse I've told you about, this is also how you rig an election. This is election interference 101. Try to jail the guy running against your guy. I think that Bragg needs to be investigated. I think the Justice Department needs to be investigated. I gotta commend Kevin McCarthy for standing against this. But in my view, every political office holder in the country should be denouncing this, Republican and Democrat. The loser Republican uh, and establishment class gets very nervous because they don't want anyone to help Trump. They don't like every time Trump is in the news, even though he's in the news because he's being abused in unprecedented fashion in a way that undermines our, the very foundations of our constitutional system. And we're not gonna stop talking about it. We're gonna keep on pushing back on behalf of the rule of law, on behalf of the millions of Americans who want the law administered fairly.